Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Loss of Video. Today, I'm going to be going over version 2.8.0 that is coming to the game on 5.26.2021 as opposed to coming, I guess, later in 2022 or some other time, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give my thoughts about it, go over all of it, you know, do that kind of basic stuff. So I hope you like this video. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me how you feel about any of the stuff mentioned in the update so far. And subscribe to me if you want some more uh, video stuff. So let's get into it. Um, when you obviously when you update, um, you won't be able to play with anyone who hasn't updated. Remember that specifically if you're someone who's doing the Trials of the Mighty Co-op and you have not done it yet, when this download becomes available, uh, I actually won't well, that applies to any Trials of the Mighty that's currently up. It will make things harder or easier. Who knows? Uh, to celebrate the update, they'll be giving a 10 free, uh, 10, 10 fold summon voucher. I don't know what was going on in my head there, but it only happened once the actual uh, update goes live. So, update details unlock specific nodes and mana spirals automatically. Finally, players will be able to automatically unlock all five of the adventures' mana circles at once, including nodes and upgrades of co op abilities, or up to a specific mana node. Note that the mana spiral must be first. Note that the Mana Spiral must first be unlocked before any Mana Spiral nodes can be automatically unlocked. Alright, fair enough. Um, this is a very good update. This has been They've been telling us about it for a while. I've been wanting it for a whole long time now. Oh my god, it's just, as someone who makes videos on these damn units, you have no idea how annoying it is to do it for every single new character. Or whatever, man. I'm glad that they're adding this. Should have been in the game for a while, but hey, better late than never. Manage your facilities. Speaking of should have been here a long ass time ago, manage your facilities with ease. The storehouse and castle grounds will be renamed Manage Facilities and improved and improved and improved to allow players to view, upgrade, store, and place all their facilities from a single location. Thank you. <sighs> Distinguish your roster with medals. I mean, no, that's already the last thing. This has been needed for a long-ass time. I don't know why it took us this freaking long to um, upgrade stuff. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It should have been in the game a long time ago. At least a year ago, is my feeling. But again, just like the previous update, better late than never. Distinguish your roster with medals. A new feature called medals will be added to notes nodes. Not Nots notes? No, what? Knots notes. God, okay. In a data update on 527 at 23, these medals will be awarded to individual adventurers when they clear certain quests without using a skip ticket and without having their HP reduced to zero. Being revived or using a continue? Wow, okay. In co op, you will receive a medal for the adventurer, so you can. Uh, you controlled at the start of the quest, you will not receive the medals for any adventure you replace those. Who replace those of players who disconnect immediately after the quest begins. Temporarily, adventurers may earn medals once permanently join your roster. Temporary adventurers may earn medals once they permanently join your roster. Okay, I see what they mean. I was like, what temporary adventurers? And then I remembered, yeah, there totally is temporary adventurers. Medals can be viewed in the medal collection section of Knott's Notes or by tapping on the medals in the adventure details uh, screen. In addition, players will be able to go directly to Knott's Notes after earning an encyclopedia bonus by increasing an adventurer's level, unlocking an adventurer's mana nodes, unbinding a dragon, or increasing a dragon's bond. So, this metal's cool. Um, people have already been using a bunch of units to beat a lot of other nodes, uh, notes, uh, a lot of other um, adv uh, fights that they're not really geared towards. Like, you see it all the time. Uh, like saying people who will love a specific unit will be like, oh, yo, I use them to beat Master Hildegard because I can. And it's like, okay, cool. That's <laughs> that's kind of awesome. Um, and funny enough, it was always seen as kind of like, I can't believe Contrahalia can't control their meta. Look at what Shadow is doing to everyone, and which was true at the time. So I kind of like that they're embracing. It's weird because this isn't going to apply to every single unit. Because I can't take Mim to go take down <laughs> Mars. Uh, because she's not allowed to. So it's really weird for them to, in to introduce medals. And then um, 
forbid certain units from being able to fight every fight. It's really silly. Um, but either way, I think it's cool. I'm kind of looking forward to it, and I really want to get every single medal for Mim. Maybe I'll make a series on my adventure of trying to get every single medal for Mim. That'd be fun. That'd be fun for me. I don't know how it'd be fun for everyone else, but it'd be fun for me. Um, other changes. The Holodome. Yeah, the Holodome. I'm like, I thought it said the Holodrome, but I think I'm getting... No, I'm getting it confused with the Technodrome from the... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Holodome's maximum level will be increased to 11. Ooh, more space. On 527. The description of the adventure, Cleo's skill, Tropical Freeze, level 3 will be adjusted. The effects will remain unchanged. I guess they want to word it better. It's a weird one. The user interface will be adjusted in various places. Cool. Quality of life improvements, the number of daily bonuses for Dragon Trials, and the Imperial Onslaught will be reduced to one each, but the rewards will be doubled, allowing players to earn the current amount of rewards in half the time. You know what would be really great for you to earn double rewards in? Trials of the Mighty. I would prefer it if you did it there, but whatever, fine. It is really funny that they're improving everything else. It's like, oh yeah, this, this is going to get improvements. How about Trials of the Mighty? No. Dragon Ramiel's wings do not always display when he dodges. They're fixing it. So yeah, that's everything coming in. Pretty solid update, I would say. Um, this is highly wanted. This is highly wanted. This is really cool. So that's my thoughts on it. In terms of what some other updates I would like to see in the future for Dragalia Loss, it's obvious is that I want changes to Trials of the Mighty. <laughs> I don't want it so that every single unit... It's fine when only Galas need to do Trials of the Mighty to unlock their stuff. I'm fine with that. It's when it's like, why are you doing this for freaking Yukata Cassandra? She has like the hardest fight with Mars. And it's like, I could understand if you gave this fight to like Cerise. She's a Gala unit. Her fight should be hard. Why is Summer... <laughs> why is uh, Yukata... Cassandra so stupid hard to unlock her things for but I guess it's only for master because again expert and standard are easy but you know her master fight just doesn't make sense for what they're like going for at least that that's at least how I feel about it so I again if I if you haven't heard what I would like to see change what I would like to see changed is galley units stay as only trials of the mighty Trials of the Mighty, more of them come back more often. I think all of them should be unlocked like Void. We're basically slowly returning to the way Void Quest used to be. And I thought, I thought we were done with the Void Quest stuff because all Voids are available 100% of the time because they realized it was dumb to keep it into a daily thing. And depending on the day was a rate up for that specific day. Like I don't understand why they don't make Trials of the, Trials of the Mighty like they do voids because let me tell you voids and trials of the mighty are basically the fucking same thing some of the, some of the fights in void you fight in trials of the mighty so just have a little tab that says trials of the mighty every single fight is available at every single goddamn time and then you people will always play it because like i said like you give a uh, free multi every three um you give a multi every three days, and then obviously add some quests that would make you get Wormite for playing co-op or something, and boom, you solve your damn issue. I don't get it. And some people will always play co-op master because they want the super crazy good drops. So, you know, I'm just saying. There's ways to improve it. I don't think, like, you need to stop doing it. But yeah, the other thing I want is specifically for... Galley units stay using convictions, and then non-galley units, they can get convictions, but you can either use convictions or the the other currency that uh, most regular Mad Spiral units use. It kind of becomes an either-or, so if you're a new player who's running along those resources, it's, it's easier for you to go to Trials of the Mighty and get them that way, and it's like a, f you know, it helps alleviate a lot of the harder uh, stuff um, to get. And that's the way I kind of want to see them do it because i think that'd be a better system because everyone gets what they want 
the players who don't mind kind of waiting their time and getting basically free like the idea that i want is basically the people who are waiting who are patient and can just wait would basically get a free mana spiral and the people who want their mana spiral now they can pay the cost they already pay the damn cost you know what was stopping me from doing most mana spirals i don't want to pay the damn cost you know what would make me pay the mana spiral cost is if i didn't have to pay that cost which is using the convictions and now unfortunately in the current system you do still have to pay the cost <laughs> for a lot of it you still have to use the damn golden toilet paper and the silver toilet paper so it's it's a mess but that's my thoughts on it so yeah this is a good update that's an update i want to see in the future for trials of the mighty you got to send in feedback though keep on sending that feedback tell them how you feel like i'm not even saying that my feedback is 100 percent perfect if someone's got a better idea i will gladly follow suit and say yo that's the idea's bitchin let's do it but that's the end of today's video everyone i hope you liked it I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out.